Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got our guest co-host Gia here today. Morning, babe. How you doing? Good, good, good. And now let's get into some front page news. Hey, Teslin Figaro. Good morning, Breakfast Club family. The Hood Whisperer, Teslin Figaro is here. <laughs> Give us some of that cable news, T. Tess. Bef- build that cable yes, news, T. Wait, wait, wait. Before oh. we do, let's, let me do some quick sports. <laughs> that T is hot, ain't it? <laughs> yes, it's hot. The Lakers beat the Grizzlies 117-111, and the Heat beat the Bucks 119-114. They came back. They were down like over 20, and Jimmy Butler had 56. And, and LeBron James is the oldest player uh, ever in NBA history to have 20 points and over 20 rebounds. Dylan Brooks called that man old. And he busted his ass. And, and ain't showed up since. <laughs> Bust his ass. The up 3-1. That's right. Since that young man called that OGO. And we got to congratulate to Aimee Yadoka. Did I say that right? No. I don't know. No, don't ask me. <laughs> well, of course, you know, he was right. released from the Boston Celtics. He got a new job. He's going to be the head coach of the Houston Rockets. So, okay. we'll congratulations we'll to Aimee we'll Yadoka. Did I say that right? Aimee. Aimee Yadoka. I was close. Now, let's jump right into it, Tess. Yes, honey. So I need y'all to get y'all fans out, honey, because this is Damn. cable news tea. So I'm going to do. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't feel much hospitality in the room. You ain't got a fan? Where <laughs> is my honorary fan? Well, you could get Flame Moreau. Fl- Flame is naked on well, that fan. You're already a queen. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. Need <laughs> we need this to give off queen energy. Yeah, we turn to the queens. Okay. Yes, honey, we got to do the C and E with the T with this, honey. I don't get a chance to do T, so let me get into it, honey. So. Mm. Yesterday, there was a cable news shakeup that shocked America. Uh, Tucker Carlson, who hosts the most popular show on cable news, drawing three million viewers per night, was fired from Fox News, allegedly with no notice. And Don Miller was fired. Don Lemon was fired from CNN, allegedly with no notice after working at CNN for 17 years. Now, sources say that Tucker was allegedly fired for making disparaging remarks about women. His pending lawsuit with his former producer, mm-hmm. January 6th conspiracies, honey, and text messages revealed during the D- uh, Dominion settlement against Fox News. Now, Don Lemon says that he wasn't given any notice and that he found out through his agent. But CNN said, honey, that was fake news and it was inaccurate and that they did offer him a chance to meet with management. But he decided to get on Twitter and make a statement. Now, in Don's case, uh, sources say that it's been a long record, honey, of diva-like behavior, such as refusing to attend pre-production rehearsals for CNN this morning because he was upset that he was not the center of the show. They said that he did not want to share equal hosting duties with uh, Puppy Harlow, Poppy Harlow and Caitlin Collins. And sources also say, honey, that he became upset when he was informed that he was not going to be able to drink alcohol on the set of CNN's New Year's Eve (laughs) telecast. That would be a deal breaker for me, too. Yeah. Yeah, it, okay. That'd be a deal breaker, honey. I need to hear the fans popping. Where's the fans popping? I'm right here. I'm, t- I'm, I'm just waving. I'm just waving. It's too hot. I got to stay cool. Okay. I'll just, and be, then, I'll just be hot over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then, of course, honey, you know, he made recent comments about Nikki Haley uh, saying that she was not in her prime, honey. Basically, he called her old. And then shortly after that, he made statements. Uh, uh, Variety came out with an article That's saying right. about his history of his misogyny, honey. So now the Internet, you know, they are making up reasons back so and forth, honey. You know, the, the, of course, the Internet know everything. And so they said that the Internet, honey, said that the reason why he was fired was also because of his on-air exchange with Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Take a listen. The part that I find insulting is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have the gone through that civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the, the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Well, here's where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, but me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, we see. whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, what it's like to be black whatever America. ethnicity I'm I am sorry. I'll tell you what I am I'm an Indian American I'm proud of it but I think we should have this debate black white doesn't matter I think we should have this on debate the content I think should, of the ideas do it you should do it in an honest way and in a I fair think, way and what you're doing is not an honest and fair way okay with, with, we appreciate you coming on with thank due you respect that. Don I look thank forward to continuing that conversation we'll thank continue you the conversation thank, thank you. you so much Tez I'm glad you gave all that all that information because if people think that is the reason Don Lemon got fired then they haven't been paying attention like Don Lemon got fired because of that variety article that came out mm-hmm. and the headline said uh, they was exposed his alleged misogyny at CNN. And it, it talks mm-hmm. about malicious texts he sent women and mocking female co-workers mm-hmm. and diva-like behavior. 
Which, yeah, people like people the, the, say he disrespected Nancy Grace uh, on the air and Soledad O'Brien during meetings. And Soledad actually spoke in the article, mm -hmm. right? And they said he yelled at his co-host, Caitlin Collins, and the comments about Nikki Haley, like Ted said. So, And that article spoke to 12 former colleagues who didn't paint the best picture of the brother. So if you're saying Don got fired for that clip, you haven't been paying attention. Wow. All right. Well, honey, and, and, we don't see. Oh, go ahead, Ted. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, and Fox Fox lost $787 million in a lawsuit. Yep. A lot of more and, people going to be gone. Exactly. And took a huge hit to their credibility. You know some heads going to roll when you lose that kind of money. Yeah, but that, isn't that one of their biggest shows, though? Or like, yeah. Ted, like Ted said, though, Tucker Carlson yeah. is being sued by a former producer for sexism and mm. harassment. So that's going to cost them more money. So a big fish got to go mm. in a yeah, situation yeah. like that. They're looking for different ways to trim the fat. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and just for clarity, not only is it their biggest show, DJ Envy, it's the biggest show on cable news period so he gets three million viewers so that just goes to show you that nobody is safe honey i was gonna do a story remember when i did the story on quiet quitting um there's actually another story called quiet firing and this is an example of how you can think all is well and come to work the next day and Gone. not have a job that's right so uh but if your company yeah, loses just, 787 million dollars you should know that yeah. heads are going to roll somebody's going and in that time slot uh they can put damn near anybody in that time slot and they're going to perform well because before mm -hmm. uh Tucker Carlson, it was Bill O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was O'Reilly. Yeah. But but Tucker Carlson, though, he was against Trump. You know, the, the text messages that they revealed during that lawsuit, um, he actually was saying he couldn't stand Trump. Mm. And well, then he still went on air. Mm -hmm, and he still went on air uh, and, of course, went along with the conspiracy. But it, it he went, went against him. So that's, that's why. I, and that's mm -hmm. why I say they took a huge hit to their credibility. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, oh. That's why mm -hmm. I said that. Yep. All right. Well, yep. that is front page news. And we're going to talk to you some more in a couple of minutes, right? Absolutely. All right. Get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you need to vent, phone lines are wide open. 800. I need a tweezer, man. I got I got a, a, a splinter with that damn fan, man. Your wife right there. Don't even look at me. <laughs> don't look at me for none of that this morning, nah, he King. can look at you for the tweezer. Nah. Don't you even might look have at me. one in your back pocket. Don't I wouldn't be surprised. You don't tweeze your eyebrows? <laughs> I wouldn't no, be surprised. You do are natural. Me. Those are not natural. That's what you're talking about. Those are not natural. L lift your hat up a little bit. Look, I don't believe you. These are natural. You never tweeze your eyebrows before? <laughs> no. Yes, you did. There's a picture with your eyebrows. <laughs> no, Done. No. I got them arched. <laughs> I ain't get them tweezed. That so, was an arch. Excuse me. Just in case you don't know, there's a difference between waxing, Thank threading, you. and tweezing. Thank you. Which Thank one you. is your hair removal of choice? That was just a, it was just a razor. That was back in oh, the day. She the did cream a razor. With the razor. Mm -hmm. yes. My goodness. Yes. Get it off your chest. Gia is our co-host. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now let's get back into some front page news. Of course, we have Teslin Figaro here, but let me knock out the sports real fast. Now, the Lakers beat the Grizzlies last night, 117-111. LeBron had 20 points and I think 22 rebounds last night. Busted Brooks' ass. And Brooks needs to be ashamed of himself. You can't call a man old, don't show up for the rest of the series, and don't want to talk to media. That's the problem with this generation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're going to call that man out, but then don't back it up with nothing. It's just all words. Mm -hmm. Now, the Heat beat the Bucks 119-114. I think the Heat were down like 20. They came back. Jimmy Butler had 56 points. Uh, and uh, Ime Adoka, did I say that right? I, I don't okay. think you did, but it don't matter. We I, know who you're talking about. Well, he left. Uh, of course, he was released from the Boston Celtics. He just got high as, as a Houston Rocket coach. And uh, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Well, it looks like Aaron Rodgers is officially going to be a Jet by the end of the day. So. Are you allowed to do that as a Giants fan? Can you just shout out J E T L? Like I'm, that's just, their I'm chant. reporting the story. That's it. I thought only fans do that, right? Right. Yeah, that's facts. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Yo. I did. You I'm supposed to just report fan. that regular. I'm, I'm a Giants. And that, you supposed to say that other team, that other football team in New York. All right. That other football team in New York uh, picked up Aaron Rodgers. It's not going to mean much, but congratulations to them. All right, now Tez, what will we starting today? <laughs> the shade is not going to mean much. <laughs> Do they need their fans Let's, for this? <laughs> Let's talk about Joe Biden. Oh, I'm definitely uh, not picking up my fan for this. Nope. You're not picking up your fan? No. Uh, well, since we've been on the air, uh, President Joe Biden announced his 2024 re-election campaign, setting off a battle to convince the country that his age will not impede his ability to govern. That's oh, great. Boy. Like, that's literally... <laughs> 
a part of his campaign uh, messaging. Uh, already the oldest president in American history at 80, uh, he would be 86 by the end of his second term. President Joe Biden said, the question we are facing is whether in the years ahead we will have more freedom or less freedom, more rights or fewer. I know what I want the answer to be and I think you do too. This is not the time to be complacent. This is why I'm running for re-election. Now, currently President Joe Biden has very low approval ratings including 52% of Democrats wow. that would prefer that he not run for re-election. They want him to have a seat. Uh, the lack of enthusiasm is especially high among young voters who were skeptical of Biden in 2020, but ultimately turned out in high numbers to help him beat Trump. Now, the DNC has decided they will not be hosting presidential debates for anyone that would like to run against him. And of course, Democratic presidential candidate Mary Ann Williamson and Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who also announced he will be challenging Joe, Bri Joe Biden, called the process undemocratic. Yeah, that, that's not what democracy is about, right? Democracy is about letting people be challenged. How can the Correct. DNC just say we're not going to hold a primary? Well, they're actually following the lead of the RNC. Uh, Republicans in 2020 also did the same thing. Uh, mm. When folks uh, decided to run against uh, then-President uh, Trump, uh, they did not feel those candidate candidates were a serious threat to Trump, and they also you know, stopped the ability to debate. Are we just going to ignore all the ghosts that he spoke to and all the people that he <laughs> shook hands, that there was nobody there, and all the people that don't, don't, were supposed to be in the seats next to him? Don't be an ageist, Dylan Brooks. No, I'm not being an ageist, but... No, that, but that, are those gonna, are just facts. Are we just going to ignore I witnessed them myself. That? <laughs> so just like, he put his hand out to shake somebody's hand and was nobody there. I mean, that's why he, what was the first thing he said, t uh, Tez? He's in condition to run or whatever the hell he said? It was a disclaimer. Yeah. It was a disclaimer. <laughs> you get ahead. He said his age won't have anything to do with it, so he's trying we'll, to, we'll see. He's trying to disarm all of the negative comments coming his way. Jesus Christ. That's yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not interested. I mean, but you know, that they, they, they have no bench. Like, you know, there's nothing else for us to even I mean, consider. Yeah, you know? seriously. I mean, they really don't have a bench. Like, seriously, I, I would love That's to see a, a, a debate for sure. Um, but when you're talking about and again, I'm I'm for anybody that wants to debate, that's fine. But there's literally like no bench. Like who would who would run against on the progressive side, Democrat, like who? Yeah. And even to say that, uh, you know, that nobody's a serious contender. I mean, how do you know somebody's a serious contender if you don't ever give them that main stage? Like just like True. we might not know what Bob, I don't know anything about Bobby Kennedy. I know Marianne because you know we've had conversations with her. She's gonna be on Breakfast Club this morning, but yeah. I don't know anything about Bobby Kennedy. He might get that light, and people might like him. Who knows? Yeah, and 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 Marianne uh, Williamson brought up a good point. You know, it's good to debate ideas as well. That's and right. you know, and I I don't mean to minimize her and say she's not a serious candidate, but they don't look at her as somebody that can actually you know pull enough votes right. uh, to be a threat to him. So they don't even think it's worth their time. But I, I do think it, it is always important, you know, to debate and discuss ideas and to push people, you know, further to the left or right, which they were able to do our center, if you will. They were able to do that in 2020. You know, if they did mm -hmm. not have those debates. Uh, Joe Biden would not have committed to a lot of the things that he did. And he did because Bernie Sanders was in that race. Senator uh, Elizabeth Warren was in that race. And those debates, you know, really did, you know, bring up a lot of conversations that otherwise would have been avoided. So debates are a good thing. I just feel like people are going to be uh, feel like they're going to be forced to vote for Joe Biden. They're not going to like it. They're not going to be excited. And I think we're going to have a, a, a major problem. I don't think a lot of people are going to come out because I don't think a lot of people necessarily love what Joe Biden has done in the last three years. And I think we're going to have a big problem this year. That's a great point because, you know, people always forget uh, j just be I may not vote for Biden, but I might not vote for Trump either. I might just not vote. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you you want to go to Lou Louisville? Yeah, I want to go to Louisville. Uh, Miles Colesgrove, a former Louisville police officer, was shot and who shot and killed Breonna Taylor in March 2020, became a law enforcement officer again in Carroll County, which is about one hour northeast of Louisville. Now, Carroll mm -hmm. Carroll County Chief Deputy Rob Miller said, "Quote: We felt like he was a good candidate, and we think he will help reduce the flow of drugs in our area and reduce property crimes." Now, Colesgrove was one of the seven officers involved in the deadly raid against Taylor's apartment in the middle of the night. An FBI report later showed that it was Cosgrove's bullets that killed her. Cosgrove was fired, but he did not face any criminal charges in connection to the killing. Four officers were formally charged by the Justice Department with civil rights violations, but he was not one of them. Now, in 2022, the Kentucky Law Enforcement Council voted 
to allow him to keep his police certification, making him making him eligible to work for other police departments in the state. Now, yesterday I talked to Until Freedom co-founder Tamika Mallory. Listen to her reaction to the news. Miles Cosgrove being hired by another <laughs> police department, a sheriff's office at that, is not a surprise. Uh, in fact, it happens with officers who have committed heinous crimes all the time across this nation. And our legislature on the federal level and the local state level, uh, they're failing us on both sides of the aisle because they refuse to pass legislation that would stop this from happening. The people of Kentucky must stand up and make sure uh, that the department that has now hired Cosgrove is not comfortable with this decision and that they do not go on with business as usual while Breonna Taylor's family has to deal with the unfortunate tragedy that took her life. Ted, wasn't there a database that uh, tracked like uh, criminal cops at one point? Are, are my, are my, I feel like I remember reading something about that. Yeah, in some states they do have them. Um, it's also one of the things that we were pushing to get in the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act to have mm -hmm. some type of tracking system. But what point is the tracking system when you have local counsel that can still put somebody, you right. know, uh, in 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 that position? So one is tracking, but two, how do we make sure you know that this doesn't happen again? And this is why you know I'm always talking about local and state. It matters, you know, who's on these councils, who gets to make these decisions, who gets to hire and fire. Sheriffs are normally elected positions all of those things matter so database is important but what do we do with the database uh, once we get that information it's that's like it, it discredits the fact that he was fired in the first place correct that's right it makes mm -hmm. it seem as though it's okay typically if you lose your job under a certain set of circumstances the next person that you're hoping to employ you would do a background check, do research, not that, you know, he was low and that needed to be done, but it's really a slap in the face of the family, the friends, the public, that they would do that. And it's kind of infuriating that they do it and it's as though, it's like, so what? Mm -hmm. It's as though, so what? Yeah, we did it and what? I wonder, right. how, I wonder how that works in like uh, the medical field. Like if you get fired for medical malpractice, can mm -hmm. you just get a job at another hospital? I thought so it was like a stain on your record. I, I didn't think you could. It's a good analogy. Well, yeah, well, normally, uh, if you do get sued uh, for medical malpractice, more than likely, you may not be able to get insurance. And yeah. so in order to work in another right. healthcare facility, you need to be able to have your own insurance. And that can play a part in it as well. Um, and again, this is why we talk about with um, the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act that was never passed, uh, ending qualified immunity. You know, when you're able to mm -hmm. go after police officers individually and how you're able to sue them and all of those things, you know, that, that come with that, all of those things play a factor. So that's a that's a great question. And to your point, you know, one would argue that when they hire these officers, they are making a statement to mm -hmm. say yeah. that you can Clearly. continue to do whatever you do and we're going to have Clearly. your back. Clearly. That's right. Damn. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that is front page news. Thank you, Tesla Figaro. Absolutely. And Tesla's going to stick around, man, because uh, we got Marianne Williamson coming in next. You know, Marianne Williamson is running for president, and Tesla's going to stick around uh, while we have that conversation with Miss Marianne Williamson. Yep. And we'll do that when we come back. So don't move. Stay right there. It's The Breakfast Club on BET. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. <laughs> 